from the car I where are you at um we're we're on Grand Avenue uh okay where on Grand Avenue um by by the the one lane bridge um we're going under the bridge and we were going to Wendy's because we by were the underpass on Grand Ave yeah okay what happened there um we we crashed my my friend was driving and and he crashed into another car and is anybody hurt Yes, I, I think so. Um, Who else hurt? Uh, the, the person next to me, his name is JJ. He's he's unconscious. He looks hurt really badly. Um, okay, uh, Lauren. 
and she was she was ejected from the car. I she's on the hood of the car. There's so much blood. I don't are, know what's are going on. Are you hurt? Um, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you able to get out of the car? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of the car. All right. Your friend is on the hood. Are they conscious? No, I don't think so. All right. Who was driving? Um, uh. Christian, um, he he was driving and and he swerved into another lane and I don't know if he's conscious right now. Where is he at? He's he's still in the car. He's he's sitting in the car. I don't know if he's conscious. Is there any smoke or fire in the car? Um, no, no, I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna get you help out there. Okay. Okay. Seven eight eleven from Warren County, Senate Fire and Rescue, Grand Avenue by the culvert. Motor vehicle accident with injuries. Other victim. Hey, hey, are you awake? Are you awake? Hey, can you speak? Can you speak? What's going on? What's your name? Anybody have a name? JJ. Hey, JJ. JJ, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Hey, do we have a doctor? Dr. Trevetti? Hi. Hi, what's your name? Paris. Paris, I'm Dr. Trevetti. We're doing a car accident, huh? What happened? Um, my friend was driving. He was drunk. I was in the back and I had my seatbelt on and I just kind of got some glass in my hand. Okay. You did have your belt on? Yeah. And were you drinking as well? No. Is he arousable? He's not arousable. Right, a little bit of moaning, nothing else. Uh, JJ. JJ. He was in the back seat, unrestrained. I think he was drinking. So. What happened exactly? I don't know. Some of the teenagers, you know, they're drunk, out driving. What the heck? Was he we're belted? He was no. not belted. In the abdomen, the IV's in. Back. Hey, he's breathing down. We need to do CPR. All right, let's start CPR. I'm about to start okay. CPR. Okay, CPR. No, no, no rhythm, no rhythm. Right, wait, wait. V-step on the monitor. V-step on the monitor. Yeah, okay, Christmas. What are you gonna do? All right. Flash like you do. Flash you. Come over. All right. You're gonna take a deep breath. You're gonna blow up this mouthpiece with one long continuous breath. You're gonna continue to 
your low toilet body to stop. Do you understand those instructions? Yeah, yeah. Take a deep breath. Yeah, let's get ready to shock him. Where are the paddles? Alright, let's charge it up. Charging. Everyone clear? I'm clear. Everyone clear? And go. One more. Be safe, be safe on the mic. Alright, shock. Brady. Alright, let's continue let's continue CPR. Let's continue CPR. Follow me on the wall to the left. Let's continue CPR. Okay, Doc, it's been about 30 minutes. Alright, what's the rhythm? What's the rhythm? Sweet, you and I work myself into the shop. Do you have a pulse? Any pulse? No, no pulse. It's been 30 minutes. Alright. How old is he? What's the time? Let's just call it. How old is he? Beth, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna call it. It's gonna be 11.20, time of death. I'm so sorry. of the family, thank you all for being here today, coming together in the midst of such grief helps. In grief, we can find comfort in family and friends and community. Give to us now your grace that as we shrink before this mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity through our tears. is faced with too heavy a burden. Lauren was an energetic spark every day of her life. She provided stability and promise to everyone she knew. Her days were filled with ongoing action and activities that she faced with a smile. Lauren's future was filled with possibilities and exciting plans. She had a family who adored her, school, sports, and friends. She volunteered with the rescue squad because she liked helping people. She worked two jobs and had a boyfriend. These things are now gone. We will never see what her future would become because of a poor choice she made. We will never get to see her graduate high school and college. We will never get to see her start a career. We will never see her get married and start a family. We will never see her grow older. Lauren guided Michael and kept him they will sh no longer share giggles, no more fights, no more trips to Moe's, no more times with each other. Lauren didn't give us any trouble. She focused on school, she didn't drink, smoke, or do drugs, or so we thought. What we will never know is why. 